Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, let's see here. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Okay, there we go. All right. So this is what Julio Fulio's mom had to say. I'm going to read this to y'all really quick. Okay, so she says, R.I.P. son, Charles Jones II, Fulio, the real life story documentary coming soon. The story I can tell because I know the truth from the fakes. I think I'm the only mother that keeps it real while most others know damn well what's, go what's going on with their own sons. This has been going on since 2014, 2015. Some of these same women celebrating your death in some, celebrating your death is some of the same women looked up to me, sitting in my building while I was their teacher and they were my students at a big grown age taking notes. Now let's not forget that. The same women that was buying your CDs for their kids, let's not forget that. These same women's sons did the same thing you did, tit for tat on this drill music in which I never condone. Mother Efforts asks, where's his mom? It starts from the home. Them not knowing I stayed on you about the beef shit, cussed you out, begged you to take stuff down. And when I was shot eight times, remember his mom was shot eight times and his sister was also shot. I, I spared their lives, even though mine changed. 10 plus years ago, you started this music stuff in Jacksonville, Florida, and had all the teen parties turned. Caught megabuses to Atlanta at 16 for your career. I think your first interview was with DJ Small Eyes, but I'll talk about that later in the documentary. I do want to thank those who believed in him at the age of 17 when he moved to Atlanta, at Rap Coalition, at Zaytoven on the Beat, um, especially at Thugga Thugga One, which is Young Thug, and his career, an untold truth, only I can tell, coming soon. Special thanks to Mark Lyon Jr., Create Music. So much unreleased coming soon. So that is what his mom had to say about the situation. Let me oh, move this over. So that is what she had to say about the situation. And, you know, it's very unfortunate that she lost her son in the manner in which she lost her son. Um... But it, yeah, you know, it's also weird too. That it's like, oh, you know, my son passed. Documentary coming soon. Um, it's almost like she knew, you know, she knew eventually this was his fate. That's all that young man spoke about. But I hope that the documentary is not just glorifying, you know, this whole culture, this whole drill culture, and his death. But I hope that you know people really take a lesson from this. Because there's no innocent parties in this. That's why I don't understand why everybody's acting like, you know, Young and Aces crew or whatever, like they're innocent too. And that's why when I did my deep dive, well, mini deep dive video that I did breaking down the situation, that is why I showed both sides. Because both sides are hurting, right? You have him whose mother and sister were shot. He lost his little brother. He lost a cousin. You have Young and Ace who was in a car with four, with three other people, his brother and his two best friends, and all of them were shot, and he's the only survivor. Like, that is like some traumatic shit. That is some PTSD stuff that you never get over. So you have a lot of these people, like I said, they're in the hood and they're suffering, they're suffering from PTSD, like hood PTSD, but there's no counselors, like when you're in the war and you're, you know, in the military. You know, there's all types of counseling, there's all types of therapy. So it's like for them, their therapy is the music and, and, and telling their story. But that music is very, very detrimental because all it's done is created copycats. We saw that with the Chicago drill scene. And then, you know, it, it went down to Jacksonville, New York. But it's all over. You know, kids in Minneapolis, they do drill music as well. You know, so it's, it's really sad. So I just hope that her coming up with this documentary, I hope it's deeper than just, you know, my son live this way 
he became famous and then he died. I hope like she really shows like the consequences of living this lifestyle because it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's sad that so many people in the hip hop genre, that is what they push. Everything is low vibrational. It's all about just fucking sucking, having a bunch of kids with different women, selling drugs, killing other black men that look just like you. That is what's being pushed. And it's purposely being pushed because the people who do make positive music, they don't go viral. You have to literally search for positive music. You have to literally ask people, what good music is out right now? Because everything mainstream is so low vibrational or just ratchet or just gutter. And it's sad. It really is. Somebody says um, it feels like she's uh, clout chasing, trying to get a final bag. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be. I don't know, you know, because unfortunately, look at um, FBG Duck's mom. You know, she's out here. She has a whole social media career now, you know. So unfortunately, some of the mothers end up getting famous from the deaths of their sons. So it's really important. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.